Now, for the first time, college athletes can use their popularity to make money off the field. The NCAA made the decision last week to allow student athletes to make sponsorship deals. Now an entire team is actually getting on board with this new rule. The women's basketball team, the University of Central Florida, is the first full squad known to have entered a sponsorship deal, a sign of what exactly is to come. One of those players, Masani Kaba, joining us now, along with uh, Nick Friedman, co-founder of College Hunks Hauling Junk and moving, quite a name there. Uh, the company now in a sponsorship deal uh, with the team. Welcome, both guys. Thanks for joining us uh, on this. Mossy, I want to start with you on this one and just talk to you about how this decision has really changed your life. Yeah. Um, so, you know, coming in, we wasn't sure, like, you know, with the new NCAA rules and, you know, what the sponsorship and stuff would look like for female athletes. And we we're lucky enough that Nick presented this opportunity to us. And, he was able to get the full team on board. Um, when Rebecca Ripley brought the opportunity to us, we were all very excited, um, you know, especially to do our first sponsorship and endorsement as a team. We felt like it would be a great opportunity, and we really appreciate Nick, you know, coming out to us and us being able to actually sign with him. Yeah, and Nick, absolutely. Nick, let's talk about the decision to sponsor an entire team. I mean, this is obviously new to the scene here that athletes can do this individually, but you've gone ahead and done this with the whole team. What exactly are you offering them and why did you decide to extend the offer to all of them? Yeah, so, you know, we've always been a purpose-driven organization, and we were the first to sign any player. We actually signed Eric King from University of Miami on July 1st at 12.01 in the morning, and then my partner and I were discussing you know, there's been very little discussion or talk about women's players with all of this happening. As a father of three daughters and, and you know, player of a lot of women leadership mm -hmm. in our organization, we said, you know, we need to shine the spotlight on, on women and female athletes to give them an opportunity to leverage their platform and, and their brand uh, just, just as well. And so I played basketball as well. We're based in Central Florida. UCF was the logical team uh, mm -hmm. for us to partner with. They're scrappy. Uh, they're gritty, they're overachievers, and that's kind of been our entrepreneurial mindset since starting our business. So it was just a, a perfect fit for us. And hopefully it paves the way for other female athletes to leverage their name, image, and likeness as well. Yeah. I got to say, as as the female anchor desk goes, I know I can speak for Savannah and saying we are so pumped for you guys yeah, to make so this exciting. decision to sponsor female athletes. It is so so cool and it really sets the stage sets the model right for the partnerships that we're going to be seeing in the future because of this decision between companies and student athletes what more nick is to come well we have 160 franchisees all around the country so we're talking about getting our franchise owners involved in sponsoring local athletes in their market uh, both male and female uh it's a perfect fit for our brand but hopefully bigger organizations bigger brands uh that, that have larger corporate sponsorship budgets will take notice uh and take advantage of this new ruling uh that the ncaa has allowed and give again female athletes an opportunity to take advantage of their platform or their social media following of their name image and like this that the school has always benefited from uh, so hopefully this is just one small step uh, that mm. sheds the spotlight on female athletes all around the country and Nick, it's so sweet to hear you reference your daughters when making this decision. Now, Masani, what's the impact that you hope this is going to have on college athletes moving forward? I mean, this is a big deal. What kind of doors is this open for you and your teammates? Um, I feel like it opens um, big doors for us, especially, you know, being female athletes, you know, coming into this when you hear, you know, name, image, and likeliness. Uh, a lot of times you think of the men's sports. So, you know, football, uh, basketball, those sports that people tend to watch or people tend to, you know, go to games for. So just having this endorsement, you know, opens doors for not just college hunks, but, you know, UCF women's basketball as well. Um, it'll allow us to probably get more fans. It'll allow, you know, female athletes to have a bigger image, a bigger picture. And we're just grateful for the opportunity. It's so incredible. And it gives you the confidence to move forward knowing yeah. they're behind you. Nick, Mossidy, yes. good team. luck. Thanks for joining us this morning, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. So exciting. Thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.